What I want to know, do you still want to be a tourist? Are you going to be thinking differently about that vacation? There's lots of stuff we could talk about Jamaica Kincaid's story, but I think um, this would be a good time to start thinking in terms of big picture and seeing how we can relate what we've learned here to other situations. That's a good mindset for a college student to have. Let's jump in. So let's talk about Jamaica Kincaid. And in particular, let's talk about uh, the concept of the tourist. I don't know uh, when the last time any of you went and were a tourist somewhere. Uh, I know that I have lots of experience with them. Growing up, we lived in Charleston, South Carolina for a number of years, which is a very hefty tourist uh, place. Then we moved to Jacksonville, Florida. And Jacksonville is not exactly a tourist place, but it is in Florida, so tourists drive right through us all the time. Uh, it used to be a bad nightmare to see a Winnebago from Ant Ontario in front of you. And they did a lot to crowd up the place. Now, there were good things about having tourists and bad things about having tourists. Tourists were heavily taxed, so we didn't have to have a state income tax in Florida, and that was kind of nice. On the other hand, they were annoying as hell, clogged up our roads and we didn't see a lot of direct benefit being in Jacksonville. The best bumper sticker I ever saw in my life was on a car in Florida that says, you've seen Disney World, now get out and take your grandmother with you. So, that's some thoughts on a few sides of tourist, tourism. And I want to though so look at tourism a little bit more broadly than just going to a tourist location. The best definition of tourist I could find is a person who travels away from their normal residential region for a temporary period of at least one night to the extent that their behavior involves a search for leisure experiences from interaction with features or characteristics of places he chooses to visit. Now. The one change I would like to make here is the idea that it has to be going to a different location away from your residential region. I think that we do a lot of things which are tourism, even in the vicinity of where we live. I'm not big into dance music. If I went to a dance bar, I'd be a tourist. If I, as a straight man, went to a gay bar, I'd be a tourist there. If I went to a hip-hop show, I don't do hip-hop, I'd be a tourist. Whenever you go in a place that's outside your comfort realm, you get to uh, think of yourself as a tourist. And with tourists come any number of expectations. Uh, you're experiencing someone else's culture, society, group identity, whatever, for your own entertainment. And I think that there's some loaded stuff going on there. We certainly have very specific images of tourism. Something that I didn't know before is that there are a lot of schools in Florida which, uh, for seniors in their senior year in high school, will have days where you can dress up like various things. And one of the days they have is, honest to God, Tourism Day. This kind of shows the stereotype of tourists. You notice that they're all very, very white? Hmm. And they're all dressed in stuff that they would never wear in their normal lives. This is something about tourism. You dress up in a costume and go out. You treat the whole thing like an experience which is aimed towards you without really seeing the place that you're going to see. 
And when you look at it like that, you can understand why people who are, live in tourist areas might not like tourists. Some tourists are not all that well behaved. Now, I know that this particular image is photoshopped, but I've seen a lot of images that weren't photoshopped of people doing this exact thing. Holocaust camp selfies. Yes, that's the gate of Auschwitz. It really happens. My favorite example, and you might hear me talk about this guy later on in the semester, a young Justin Bieber, yeah, went to, was on tour in Germany and went to see the Anne Frank house. He wrote in the guest book. I just know that if you were alive, you'd be a believer too. Yeah. Not really showing respect for the area. It's a backdrop for your own life and now your own televisual life. Mm. The other thing about tourism is tourism is largely a destructive act. When some place becomes a tourist spot, people flock to it and gently kill anything that made it a place worthy of going to. Uh, the late travel writer Tony Bourdain uh, talked about this a lot. He said that he was always leery of featuring a place because next time he'd come by, there'd be like three times as many people and what charm the place had to begin with would be lost. Want a good example of that? Is this what you think of when you think of Stonehenge? It kind of doesn't look as mystical now, does it? Hmm. The good thing about tourism as a concept is it's something that you can apply to a whole lot of different areas other than just vacations and travel. And it provides us insight. I mentioned before that metaphors were a good thing. This is a pretty much a good example of how. See you in the next video, folks.